Yo, what's the story? So here is uh, another one on a uh, little bit of different topics. This is more of a kickoff for me. Um, I am. Um, this is week one from six weeks out from taking my preliminary test for my fourth degree, which puts me about twelve weeks from the actual test should I pass the prelim. So I kind of wanted to share this this sort of journey with people who maybe haven't prepped for a black belt test before or are interested to see the process. Right. So. I obviously you have your minimum eligibility times and I'm kind of serving all of that and done that but this is the kind of run up this is we're down to the business end now right so 12 weeks out is 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 really where we where we're at so I mean for me the the first big milestone is six weeks you ha- have to pass the prelim in Ireland if you don't pass the prelim you, you know sorry you try again and that's good there's this filter there and prelim is essentially a full test a uh, full black belt test before the the, the main show right um so for those of you who don't know how the uh, the black belt test works in in Ireland, there's there's various sections you have to pass, patterns you have to pass. You can't fail more than three sections uh, or you fail the whole thing. Um, uh, there's there's a pass mark and all of this stuff. And it, the, the details aren't really, but it's broken down into, into sections, right? So you have your fundamental hand movements, fundamental kicking. You have your pattern section, uh, step sparring, free sparring, power, special technique, self-defense, uh, theory and terminology. And uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. Um so, but really the, 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 the core parts of this, you know, the core parts of this are, are, are patterns. You can't fail patterns. Uh, going to fourth degree, you have three patterns plus two designated. Um, there's fundamental hand movements that are designated from a call sheet, fundamental kicking movements that are designated from a call sheet. Um, there is three, two, and one step sparring. There's um, model sparring, foot sparring, and prearranged sparring are all on the cards for me this time. So that's, that'll be new. That'll be something I haven't tried before, which would be, uh, needs a bit of thought. It needs a bit of thought. Um, on top of that, we have free sparring, which is whatever it is, it's free sparring. Um, special technique, there's two special techniques. There's a list of them designated. It's things like flying turning kick or flying reverse turning kick, flying side kick, jumping back kick. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a set of them there designated. Um, and I have a few thoughts on that that I'll share afterwards. Um, there's power, which is hand and foot, one hand, one foot. Um, Two boards, hands, two boards, feet, which is a bit strange. I think the, the foot could be higher, but I'm not going to complain. I'll take the marks where I can if I get them. Um, then theory and terminology, um, important, right? So um, where am I at now with the actual physical prep, right? So this is, like I said, this is kind of a, a way for me to be accountable to myself and share the journey with you, right? So as I said, I'm six weeks out. This is the, I suppose to kick this off to start of the week, but I'm kind of carrying an injury. So it's a bad start to my preparation or my my running. Um Carrying a few knocks, going to physio tomorrow to get that fixed, or at least you know looked at, and uh, I'll probably uh, physio will probably become a part of my run up to uh, my my general preparation for this, right? So where I want to be and where I where what I think I need to. So I mean I'm going to look at now what my kind of plan is and sort of share the rough idea, which is so you know what what I'm thinking, and you can follow the journey as well and take part as well if you want, or you can um, feel free to comment and go that'll never work. Uh, I won't listen to you. I'll keep doing it anyway. Um, so in terms of what I want to do right now, um, sort of the first sort of two, three weeks is really all about building up base level strength, right? So this means a little bit of gym work. Uh, it means doing the, the kind of compound moves. I'm not into bicep curls and tricep extensions. No, don't need to be a bodybuilder. Need to do the, the kind of compound moves. So it'll be squats. It'll be deadlifts. Uh, kettlebell swing will be a big one for me that I I, I, I like this one. Um, but also I want the couple to take one of specific strength. So specifically leg strength, right? Uh, lots of kicking exercises. You know, that we do this all the time in class. Dalio at the wall, Yop Chaggy at the wall. All of these exercises will become a regular feature of my, my, my gym workout. So yeah, unfortunately I have to be that guy in the gym, but I'm there to train. I'm not there to impress people. So that's okay by me. Um, but like I said, the start of this prep is going to be really around that sort of strength work, right? Um, and in addition to doing my kind of regular training as well, as well as coaching um, and running my own my own classes. So uh, I might be able to sneak little bits of leg strength into those classes as well, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, of course, the, the 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 focus has to be patterns as well, because patterns is is the only section you know you can't fail. I really want to make sure that those those patterns are kind of sharp. So the the three designated ones that I know are coming up are, are the three new patterns at, at third to fourth degree. So you know Samuel uh, Yusin Choyang, and then two other designated. So I'm really going to hammer down on those three anyway uh, weekly. They'll be they'll be getting attention every week from me, uh, just to keep them sharp, keep them fresh, keep them keep them known, right? Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of in my mind as well. But like I said, the start is kind of first few weeks strength work, and it gives me kind of three week run into the actual prelim, 
Um, and the reason I want to do a lot, of, a lot of focus on the sort of strength work is because there's areas that I know where I'm, I'm reasonably strong in and, and I'm competent in. I'm happy with my fundamental hands. I'm happy with my Korean terminology. I'm happy with my uh, my patterns work. I'm, by and large, I'm happy with um, kicking techniques generally kind of let me down a little bit, right? Leg strength probably isn't where it needs to be. Flexibility probably isn't what it should be. So I have to kind of really focus on making that as good as I can now um, and, and, and improve it. Because uh, for me, going to four, if you're going to go to four, I think you have to be at a certain sort of standard. And I want to be as good as I can be on the mats doing my test, right? So, you know, that's 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 for me is why I want to really kind of build that base level of strength and hopefully it'll give me a good platform to move on and, and, and perform you know reasonably well in, in the kicking section which usually is a struggle uh is a str- not struggle yeah it, it's it's a harder section for me to, to take on as a kicking section I'm happy with most of the other sections but that's the one that I really need to, to pay attention with because the kicking combinations are quite difficult you know uh hook, hook kick turning kick side kick side kick these kind of things jumping back kick to double side kick these are these are not easy technical kicks to perform well and you know at a at a good standard where it's not just sort of flung out there and it, so anyway i want to build these things so the 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 kicking call sheet would be something i'll be running a lot in the first few weeks as well um obviously as as the the prelim approaches uh in the next 3 weeks the the strength training kind of goes into stasis mode and, and becomes less less about building on on the numbers i've put up at that stage and more about just maintenance still keeping the focus on 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 solid, on, on building leg strength and and working flexibility on a kind of daily basis the flexibility idea will be will be dynamic flexibility first always and then you know kind of statics every 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 other day or every day i haven't decided i'll see how that see how the body feels and play that one by ear but obviously not doing full blown isometric contractions every day to won't work right but some sort of some sort of effort on static flexibility as well uh you know kind of we, we, if you watch a video with uh mr luke gibbons about his comfort his his thoughts on on stretching to make a difference you'll see the kind of strategy there right um as we tailor towards the the, the prelim it becomes things like pre-range free sparring need to be uh, given a bit more attention so i'll have to find a partner from the club uh usually my wife would, would partner me on this but she's 31 weeks pregnant so that's not going to happen so i'll have to sort that problem out as i come to it but uh, we'll figure that one out later um and yeah, but then the, so that that's where the attention goes is is the pre-arranged free sparring for the prelim anyway. That'll need to be that'll need to be addressed before then, and it'll hopefully stand me in good stead then and be prepared at that point for the actual test, right? So really, the first few weeks, then the next six weeks is really all about building towards that, and then we'll we'll make the assessment after that and see what was what was good, what was bad, and uh, you know, and work on what needs to be built on or work on the areas that 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 need to be improved, right? So, um. Theoretical knowledge has kind of been built up and, uh, over the past little while, and you know, I've been doing the color belt theory videos recently. That's, that's kind of a that, that there's a revision there for me as well as a value for you, right? So that hopefully that will stand me in good stead, and I can do the black belt theory as I'm going as well, piece by piece. Um, so that's my kind of plan for the first six weeks is to sort of build strength first, and then focus on um, kicking and 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 uh, really kind of refine the the taekwondo focus in the in the second three weeks to build up to the prelim. After the prelim, again, it becomes more about seeing what the result of that was and i'm assuming it's going to be still more things that'll be constant all the way up to sort of the near nearly the end of it is is, is flexibility uh nightly kind of work daily and um and that'll be that and then obviously refining the feedback that we get off the preliminary examination um yeah that's kind of where i'm at with that um um again there's some sections that i haven't really talked about spec tech and power i'm not i'm not paying too much attention to them for prelim um, I, I kind of have in my head it'll be jump back kick and uh, flying side kick for a spec tech. Uh, although I'm half tempted for the two directional kick, but I, I, I don't know, maybe not. Um, and that's that's kind of my plan for that, right? Um, power, power is okay. In black belt test, power is okay. Once you've done it once, I think you can kind of say you're you're okay with it. Um, two boards side kick, two boards knife hand. It sh- shouldn't be a problem. Um what else that's that's kind of that that's kind of that right so we'll post the updates to the daily training because i want to do a kind of daily training video so you see what's going on so and it keeps me accountable right it keeps me accountable to myself once this goes up i have to kind of get my my act together um and, and do the training that i'm talking about so hopefully post it a lot we'll, we'll post an instagram and facebook story updates for most of the training diary and then do a kind of weekly recap every week on how training went so you can see this and feel this out and see what the story is and then uh, that'll be the kind of podcast as well as the this video right so that's kind of the plan for for this. So it's more, like I said, more of a kickoff just to give you guys a, an opportunity to follow along with prepping for a, for a black belt examination, right? Um, yeah.
Okay, cool. Uh, like uh, we, we've kicked off this patterns video as well. So this is a separate topic. Just want to get you on board. Uh, there are three international umpires that have kindly offered to score a few patterns. So if you want competitive feedback on your patterns, send us in a video of yourself doing a pattern. I will send it off to these international umpires. They will score you in the proper ITF ruling categories uh, with the technical deductions, the level one deductions, level two deductions. They give you a score from 10 to zero, depending on, on the deductions. Uh, and they'll also give you the breakdown into each section. And then they'll give you a small comment as to where they were taking points off you. So you can get real tangible feedback as to what, uh, what you need to work on in your patterns, right? Uh, from a competitive point of view, right? From a competitive point of view to improve your competitive patterns. Um, so that, that, that's gone up, that's gone on now. Uh, when the video should have gone up today, outlining that on, on, on all the sort of social channels and I'm just reinforcing it here. So if you want to competitive feedback on your tournament pattern, send us a pattern and we'll send it on and post them as we get the results. But anyway, this is where I'm at. Kick off on fourth degree prep for prelim and hopefully a full-blown test. I'll keep you posted weekly on these videos as well as kind of daily updates on the the... The stories, right? So, okay, cool. Talk to you soon. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.